Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new light show. Nice that you're all watching. In this video, first I'm gonna paint a quick portrait of a very, very good, very old friend of mine. Then I'm gonna show you how I'm framing a painting and how different frames tell you different things about when a painting is made and how I frame a painting, why. Then I'm gonna bring this family portrait that I've been working on for almost three months to their new home, to the people that commissioned me to do this family portrait. It is hundred times more mooi for as I had to do So face good. Ah, that do it for you. Perfect in all details. Yeah. Yeah, it's well done. What a kerst cadeau. It gives helemaal weer what we for the eyes had. And then, at the end, I will make a very small oval portrait of two very cute little girls in a bit of an 18th century miniature portrait style. So if you think this sounds interesting, keep watching. Painting lifestyle. Dus de hiermee kan ik uh, in principe de hele wereld over reizen. Alleen een koffertje en een uh, statiefje. En dat is alles wat ik nodig heb voor een portretje. Ik heb nu dus uh, ook iets waarmee ik dus ga proberen wat makkelijker timelapses te maken. Oliver blijft heel lang nat, dus dan kan ik hier zo, kan ik ze dus zo te droog inhalen. Dan begin ik op grijs. En dan heb je dus dat, uh, uh, als ik dan iets licht moet schilderen, dan valt het ook direct op. Als dat donker is, dan, uh, als, het, als het gewoon een wit paneeltje is, dan vallen die witte tonen vaak een beetje weg. Dus uh, vast mijn excuses voor als er wat gips op de gips kruimels zo meteen op de grond liggen. De verfvlekjes en zo. Maar dat komt goed, hè? Robert, heb je de zin in om geschilderd te worden? Ja, zeker weten. Ik vind het heel bijzonder. En ik ben vooral benieuwd naar het resultaat. Of ik nou echt zo knap, knap ben in het echt. Ja, nou, dat gaan we zien. Hè? Sometimes if people move a lot, it doesn't really matter because I just try to remember the features and the expressions and then I constantly uh, search for what I think fits best and I'll add that in. And then when someone looks the right way a certain time, I pick it up and add it in the picture again. Is it clear? So, let's go. Whoa, what a huh? It's very good. Yeah, yeah, tough, man. Can you yourself? Yeah, certainly, certainly. Cool, zeg. Good morning everyone, I'm going to frame this painting. It's done. Now it's going to get a black frame. Like most of the other ones. Um, 
painting the edges black as well. So I want to get this beautiful dark black shadow around the painting. I'm using just simple black acrylic paint for the edges. Mostly I do it before I start the painting, but sometimes I just forget to do it or uh, just don't feel like doing it. But that's no problem. It just takes a little bit more uh, concentration to do it well and not by accident hit the painting itself. So now the edges are black. And the cool thing about frames, for me, but also for a lot of other painters, is that it changes. So sometimes you can see from the frame from which year the painting is or which period. And I'm going to show you something more about that. So this is the kind of classical frame that I used before 2012. But I really like the, the very like uh, detailed frames. You know, the very uh, comp complex wood carve and stuff like that. But then I realized if I do this, you know, the, the frame will attract more attention than I wanted to. It's, it's about the painting, so the frame should be more sober instead. Then from 2012 uh, up to, I think 2014, 15 or something, I mostly used these frames. It was a bit more modern, but still it took a bit of attention. And you can see, you know, I, I liked Back then I thought like this is cool, the, the silver edges, lines, you know, uh, really separate uh, the painting from the frame, makes like sort of a border between the painting and the frame. But the thing was what I didn't like about these frames back then was, was that, you know, that the painting is behind the frame. So... You know, it still gives a, a, the feeling as if the, the frame is, is in front of the painting, you know, as if it's uh, more important or whatever, for whatever reason. And this is the kind of frame that I like to use nowadays. As you can see, there's not a good light on this painting right now. But as you can see, you know, there's a black frame and there's a sort of a... a a line around it of shadow it goes deeper in here so my paintings are often quite dark because of the new light and then it's very nice if there is a that, that you're sure that there's always a darker line around it of the shadow and at the same time this frame doesn't attract any attention and this is how I frame the smaller paintings. So if it's a smaller painting and I use a bit of a wider frame, it gives it a bit more width, you know, a bit more uh, body for, for especially smaller paintings. Ze schijnen nu op het licht en dat vind ik mooi, op het, op het uh, lampje zelf. Ja, ik vind het ongelooflijk. 
Toppie Daniel. Mooi geworden, hè? Ja, ja hij is het heel mooi. Heel erg mooi. In alle details. Ik vind de reflectie in het midden achter Flora is ook zo mooi. Ja, van die wand. Maar dat gaat uh, inderdaad terug. Vanaf het schilder, op het schilderij. Ik ben heel blij dat ik twee spots erop gezet heb, omdat je dan het, het mooiste licht hebt. Ik vind het toch ook heel leuk dat er paarden erop staan. Dat is toch, dat is toch ook zeg maar de, de nou, buiten de hond maar. Zo mooi op die muur. Ja. Niets te bang, niets te weinig. <laughs> ik vind het ook mooi bij de hoek passen. Het is de, de perfecte plaats ervoor. Het is honderdduizend keer mooier geworden als ik had durven dromen. Ja. Zo vreselijk goed. Ja, dat doe ik het voor je. Perfect in alle details. Ja. Ja, het is Geweldig. Geweldig. Wat een kerstcadeau. Het geeft helemaal weer wat wij uh, voor ogen hadden. Crimson, red, ultramarine blue, titanium white. This one burnt shinna, very important. Easy color to mix skin tones. And the red colors, you can choose which ones you want. Which one? find easy to work with and then lemon yellow I think this is my palette for now to start this painting this morning I was talking a bit about frames and this is of course something totally different 18th century kind of frame and this already add a very classical feel to it immediately i love it the way it's not square all form the underpainting is already in raw umber and because the underpainting is already quite warm all the colors that i mix that have uh, white in them tend to be uh, cool in comparison to the warm underpainting. And now I'm just uh, figuring out which color is best to um, to use. Mixing and searching for the right color. And the forehead is always a very good place to, to try this out because in the forehead everything comes together but it's not complicated so you see the whole spectrum that you see in the whole face you see all also in the forehead for a long time I've been underestimating how important good brushes are so I was buying these cheap brushes and uh, now, I, now I realize again how important it is. Uh, actually, I, I uh, started realizing it when I did the copies of the Leonardo da Vinci drawings. Those I did in watercolor with quite good pencils. Uh, brushes, I mean. And, uh, then I realized uh, that it actually really helps 
now also to get a good kind of drawing in in the painting so nowadays I use these brushes and uh, these are uh, best quality Kandinsky gold uh -huh. and I actually use quite wide brushes I don't like those very very thin brushes because then I tend to go too much into detail and that makes it seem odd so I try to keep like these a bit wider brushes as long as I can but then after using them for quite a while very often they they lose their strength and they get a bit wompy I always find it difficult to throw them away though. Maybe I'm a bit of a hoarder. And this is a very good example of a wompy brush. Like, uh, no strength in it anymore. Sometimes it cuts off like this. Yeah. And then I can use them for blending colors into each other a bit, but I like those new ones best. I'm painting so much, so uh, I have to renew them quite often. This portrait I did a lot more smooth than a lot of the quick other portraits. I also put in a lot more detail. Is die echt gefeliciteerd? Dankjewel. Nummer 5.